Hello and welcome to a free tutorial video brought to you by emailmarketinghelp.org. Today we're going to take a look at how to create a broadcast message in Aweber. So this should come in handy if you needed to quick get a message out to everyone on your list or if you needed to um, queue up a big email blast for, for a specific point in time. This would be a message that wouldn't be part of your normal follow-up process. Um, so you go to your messages tab and click broadcast and create custom or create broadcast message and the message creation itself is really no different than creating any other message on Aweber so you're gonna to want to check your subject line test broadcast type in your message again the HTML messages if you want to make things italics bold um, hyperlink but remember the more stuff you do with it uh, the higher the spam score is typically going to get. Again, you can preview your message down here, view the source code if you want to. A couple other things now. Uh, what's really neat about a Weber's broadcast message uh, module is you can either send it immediately, and don't worry about hitting OK down here. It's not going to send out right away. You still need to put it in queue, and I'll show you what that means. Or you can send it later and pick a time and date. So if you want to schedule a big event or a sale or you know something for for example a weekend or nine o'clock the next day but you want to set it up this is where you do it for this case we'll send immediately you can segment so there's some presets here people who've been added today added since yesterday less than a week old less than 30 days old things like that or all active subscribers again you can track clicks and you can just save the broadcast message. What I usually do now is you'll see it right here, test broadcast. It has a low spam score, but uh, there's really nothing to it, so that doesn't surprise me. And all you need to do then is put it in queue. Once you put it in queue, it's going to send out immediately to everyone on your list. But with broadcast messages, I often use the test feature. Um, you can send a test copy to an email address that you know just to make sure it displays correctly and a good rule of thumb is if you're going to do email marketing you want to go out and create a hotmail a gmail an aol email address and send it to a couple of those just to make sure keep them listed somewhere quick and easy username and password so you can send it out and just make sure it makes it through the spam filter and make sure that it displays correctly so that's how you create a broadcast message in aweber and uh, I hope this has been a, a big help to you. And uh, for more information, make sure to stop by emailmarketinghelp.org. Thanks and good night.